hey guys welcome back to yet another video now this video is for all the mac users out there and we're going to be showing you how to use sketchup for mac so once you double click on the sketchup icon this dialog box will open and then you can select your template which in our case is sketchup inches so once you open sketchup this is our main dialog box which contains the viewport I'm going to maximize this window by clicking on the green button here, which would enter into full screen. And the SketchUp for Mac is similar in certain respects to SketchUp for Windows as well, since we have the top menu bar and our drawing toolbar here, and then the main viewport. And in the bottom left, we have a hint text, which indicates what each of the tool does. So it basically gives you a hint. And in the bottom right, we have a measurements box. Alright, so the main difference between SketchUp for Mac and Windows is that your preferences are found under the SketchUp drop-down menu. So if you click on SketchUp, you'll find the preferences here. Whereas SketchUp for Windows, you'll generally find the preferences option under the Windows drop-down menu. So that is pretty much the main difference. And the other main difference which you're going to see between Mac and Windows for SketchUp is that we have something called the default tray on the right and it doesn't show up in Mac. Now in the Mac version of SketchUp, you generally need to add in the dialog boxes in the default tray one by one. So I'm going to click on Entity Info to add it in. And it shows up here on the right as a dialog box. And if you click on the top, it would minimize into a single rectangular bar. You can also drag it and dock it to the right like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add in more windows, which would be similar to the default tray in the SketchUp for Windows version. So you can activate each of them from the Windows drop-down menu and dock it to the bottom of the list like this. And once you dock it like this, you can move the entire so-called default tray wherever you like. I generally dock it to the right. So I'm going to switch them on one by one. We're going to keep styles as well. Minimize and dock it to the right like that. And I'm also going to do it for tags and rest of the main windows for our so-called default tree. All right, that's good enough. And we also have another window box, which is materials, but you can't really dock it along with the rest of the windows on top. So the materials window is the only one which is separate and you can also activate it by pressing B on your keyboard which activates the bucket tool and the material dialog box as well. All right, and now I'm going to explain the various drop-down menus in SketchUp for Mac. So the file drop-down menu is similar to most of the programs where you can save, open files, make a new file, export, print, and more. Edit is where you have the universal copy, paste, paste in place, delete guides, and some more useful functions. The review drop-down menu is where you can switch on various toolbars. So generally on the left, if you've seen some other tutorials, you'll find a large toolset bar. So to activate that, go to Tool Palette and click on Large Toolset. So that would activate the large toolset bar here, like this. So you could either keep the large toolset bar or you could also keep the top general drawing toolbar. Now to be less redundant, since it's the same tools, I'm going to just keep the top toolbar. And if you'd like to hide the top toolbar instead, you can go to view and click on hide toolbar. But in my case, I'm going to do the reverse where I'm going to hide the large toolset bar and only keep the top toolbar. All right, so now we have draw camera and tools. And I don't generally use these drop down menus because I use shortcuts instead. And it makes my life much more easy because I get to model faster rather than coming here each time to activate a certain tool or function. And I would highly encourage you guys to do the same as that. So the draw drop down menu generally contains the drawing tools like making a line, rectangle, shapes and more. The camera is where you can switch between perspective, parallel projection and two point perspective. And you can also set in certain standard views for your elevations and plans. Tools is where you get to have the main functions, which is select, move, rotate, scale, push, pull and more. Like I mentioned before, I would highly recommend you guys to use shortcuts rather than coming to this drop down menu and selecting each of these functions. So try to get in the habit of using shortcuts and we will be sharing those shortcuts in the coming few videos. Then we have the ever so important Windows drop down menu, which is a little different from the SketchUp for Windows version. And you need to switch on each of these dialog boxes one by one to make your default tray on the right as shown. 
Finally, we have extensions which contains all your additional plugins in SketchUp and in our case we have Vray installed and in case you install other plugins like Flex Tools, Sketch UV, Scatter, Skimp or more, it would show up under extensions. Now this is our main drawing toolbar and if you want to add to this toolbar, you can go to view and click on customize toolbar. And now you can start dragging any of these icons into your toolbar on top. And this dialog box generally contains all the icons or functions from your SketchUp and also your plugins. And once you're done adding those icons, you can click on done. For now, we'll just leave the default. This is our main viewport where you do the modeling. And this is Sumele, who is apparently an employee in SketchUp. And every year when they release a new 2D figure, it is actually representing someone who works at Tremble SketchUp. On the bottom left, as mentioned before, is our hint box. So for example, if I click on the eraser tool, you can see that the hint box changes to denote what the eraser tool does, which is select items to erase or drag across multiple items. And it gives you the appropriate hints during the start of the function, mid action, and after you've done applying a function or tool. On the bottom right, we have our measurements box. Now it's super important for you to not click on the measurement box and type in your value because it doesn't work. So you simply need to type in your value. So for example, if I'm making a rectangle with a certain dimension, I'm going to press R on my keyboard, click once, and then I'm going to type in my value, which is 10 feet, comma 20 feet, and then simply press enter. So you notice that I did not really need to click on the bottom right. I can simply just type in the value and press enter and SketchUp would automatically read those values and then outputs your rectangle to that size. So that was a very quick tutorial into SketchUp for Mac. If you have any certain doubts or more, feel free to ask away in the discussion box below this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.